building bridges with the steel pan is what we are witnessing when we look at that beautiful visual for my home coming out from Etienne Charles, the producer, arranger, and of course, soloist, along with Mr. Mark Lokon, the composer and ex executive producer. These gentlemen are joining me this morning as we discuss my home. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Nice. Good morning. Now, I have tons of questions after seeing the video, but first and foremost, we know it was inspired by the fact that September is one of the more patriotic months of our Trinidad and Tobago calendar. But what inspired this one beyond just patriotism? Well, I think this is the, the second time the, the song is actually being launched on the Independence Day. Uh, the first time it came out, it was in August 2019, a couple of years ago. Um, and it was more inspired by the fact that, you know, I've been working all around the world and listening to how people you know, talk about Trinidad and talk about our, you know, instrument, our music and so on. And it was a piece that was, uh, you know, inspired in that way. And it was launched for Independence Day, um, produced by Jarrell Forbes at that time, to sh demonstrate how people could take small actions and affect people positively. And that was that was the uplifting part of the song. And then, you know, getting together with with uh, Etienne here, you know, this is the second time around. And I, I think I'll ask Etienne to to speak to that. Please do. Yes. Um, morning. Um, so it, 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 yeah, it was a great idea by Mark. It was my, it was my first time um, working with Mark where I got to write for a steel band as well. We worked together a couple of years ago where I wrote a big band arrangement for him. And so I was lucky he gave me full creative license to, to do what I wanted. And I was actually in quarantine in Trinidad when I got home for Christmas last year. And um, I was trying to figure out what to do with my time. I'm just sitting in this in this quarantine, almost in the cell <laughs> for, for two weeks. And so I, I sat down and I started working on the arrangement and I finished it. And I called Mark as soon as the day I got out of lockdown and we went to, we went to, we had coffee, we met for coffee. And um, at that coffee meeting, we decided that we were gonna record the steel band at least in Toronto, and then I was going to come back to the U.S. and record the big band, and that that's really how, that's that's the ends of night. And then after we recorded the big band and recorded the um, the marimba and some overdubs of steel plant in Maryland, and then that was going to be threw my the question. track back to Trinidad and did mm -hmm. a vocal session on Zoom um, with Carla Gonzalez, Raymond Edwards, and Natalie York. And All right, three of the biggest this. names that we could have th thought of locally. We were seeing some really, really heavy hitters there. So that process of getting everybody together, well, virtually anyways, was literally done, you said, through Zoom? Well, the, the, the only part that, that was done on Zoom was the vocal session where I was, okay. in, I was in Miami. Mm -hmm. And the vocalists were on stage at Little Carib Theatre. I was on a screen talking to Robin, the oh, wow. Robin Foster, the engineer, and speaking to the singers as they were going through their parts. But everything else was recorded in person. Okay. Um, Including the saxophonist, or the one of them at least, who cut a hole through his mask to play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in, in Michigan at the time, the rule was that all musicians had to have what's called a playing mask, which looks like this which is a mask that covers your nose, mm -hmm. but it still has a hole for you ah, to be able to, okay, okay. <laughs> to play. So as you can see, there's a little opening here. Okay. So that you, Lifting. yeah, so. Yeah, it worked, it worked out pretty well. And I, I'm, I'm really happy how it came out. I think Mark is as well. Well, Mark, I know that in terms of executive production and even composing, usually being physically in the space is a prerequisite. So that virtual adjustment, that process change a little bit was it difficult at all well i mean it's a reality of the situation that we were faced with so mm -hmm. um you know it, it it lengthened out the time that we i think within talking about the idea we, the, the band was recorded the steel band mm -hmm. was recorded you know two weeks afterwards uh mm -hmm. i i think if we had the ability without those countries we might have finished in a few months you know mm -hmm. as it, as it was, it took about eight months to, to get the practicalities and, you know, uh, live with the constraints that we had and when things would open again and things like that. So um, that was the reality. So it, it, we had those challenges, but 
at the end of the day, I think uh, I mean everybody did a, a wonderful job. Top notch. Uh, I'd like to thank Etienne, of, of course, for his wonderful arrangement, and you know it, it gives the impetus to continue these projects, which brings the you know our own steel pan together. And, and bring it together with, um, I mean, and this time it was with the big band and marimba, mm -hmm. but but I think it this, it doesn't have to limit it there. It could be conventional symphony orchestra Absolutely. or things like that. So I, I certainly would like to see other projects like that continue. I like that we already have plans in the making there, things in the pipeline. Hope is the seed, and when that blossoms, we're going to get more beautiful music. That, as you guys said was going to bridge, uh, well, build bridges, essentially, unite us regardless of where we are. Now, Etienne, I do want to also go back to the fact that you are an arranger and soloist, and as you said, you did that virtual thing a little bit, but you have seen, while you're abroad, events starting to reopen, things taking place, and touring opportunities for you re, well, imagine, so to speak. Are we going to be seeing you on a few stages, perhaps performing this piece in the near future? Um, this piece might be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> um, I, I mean, that, 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 that's the thing about, you know, it's interesting, you know, people talk about all the negative sides of what happened in 2020 and the effects in 2021. But I saw a lot of positives, you know, I played in a, one, I, start, I started back touring in November last year. And, um, and it's really about finding the, finding the positives of it. So this project would not have happened if it wasn't for the fact that, one, um, I was locked away in one place for two weeks to be able to write the arrangement. Two, that we were able to get all of the best pan players in Trinidad together who okay. could read music quickly. Because normally in January, you're not able to get mm -hmm. um, pan players to come do a, a, do a recording session during the day when they're either at work or in the pan right. yard practicing. So that was, that was a blessing as well. Um, so all of, all of, I saw so many benefits. We wouldn't have had access to Little Carib Theater like, like we did. Um, and then, so yeah, I mean, this piece to perform it live <laughs> would, be, would require one, a, a, require a choir. <laughs> Um, a steel band, a big band, on the same stage in the same place. And I don't know anywhere in the world right now that... That's possible. I, I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe in Oklahoma. I'm trying to think of the states where that, that have a certain amount of people allowed right. on stage. So, but, but, but hopefully, hope, I mean, the goal is to eventually perform it live. That's, that's, that's both of our dreams. Fingers is crossed. to see it come together live. So fingers <laughs> crossed. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm back to touring. I've been touring, yeah, since November last year. This weekend, I'm at Detroit Jazz Festival, and so I'm looking forward to being on stage again with my band. But well, we are looking this. forward to hearing so much more from you both, gentlemen, and eternally grateful for quite truly something new and refreshing in terms of the world of music and patriotism and pan. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And for now, we are getting ready to head to a break as we get ready to speak to more musicians that you need to add to your playlist. You guys do not want to miss this one. It's in our morning show and we'll be back after these messages.